What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm here today to give you guys a review of the Maybe Tomorrow collaboration with Saucony on this 3D Grid Hurricane in the Tortoise colorway. Today's video is sponsored by who else? The good people from Heffalux. When it comes to sneakers, comfort is king. So when you buy a pair of shoes and find out they're uncomfy, one of the easiest fixes is to swap out the insoles. So that's where Heffalux comes into play. If you check out their website, which I've linked down below in the description box, you'll see they sell a variety of ATPU insoles, which essentially is the same material you'll find inside Adidas Boost. So I've been a paying customer of Heffalux for years now, and I find them to be extremely comfortable. So if you guys want to check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout to get 15% off your entire purchase. So this right here is the second pair in the Maybe Tomorrow Saucony collection, which dropped in December. So this pack, which was called Better Together, was inspired by the classic fable of the tortoise and the hare. So I reviewed the hare colorway of the Shadow 6000 on my channel not too long ago, so I'll also link that down below if you guys want to check that out. But this pair is the second pair, which is inspired by the tortoise character, and they've chosen to represent that character on this 3D Grid Hurricane silhouette. So these retailed for a price of 160 US dollars or $200 here in Canada, and the official colorway for this shoe is green and orange. So the 3D Grid Hurricane is a silhouette that Saucony has been really trying to push over the last few months. Originally released back in the late 1990s as one of their top of the line running shoes, it's come back as much more of a lifestyle and casual use sneaker this time around. So first things first, here's a quick look at the box. So this comes in a beautifully designed custom box and it almost looks like it's taken straight from the pages of a fairy tale. So on the top we have both Saucony and Maybe Tomorrow co-branding and we have Saucony branding on this side and then on this other side we have the silhouette of a tortoise. So diving into the details of this shoe, starting things off with the toe box, this is covered in this tightly wound green colored mesh. Overlaid on top of the front toe cap, we have this textured brown colored leather which almost looks like the shell of a tortoise and embroidered on the lateral side we have the Saucony logo. Covering the U-throat and the eye stays of the shoe, we have this very soft green colored suede and underneath this we have this white colored stitching which actually glows in the dark. Underneath this we have more of that green colored mesh which is stitched diagonally giving it this quilted look. Overlaid on top of this, we have that Saucony stripe once again which is done in this orange color and this contrasts so well and it's very vibrant compared to its green colored backdrop. Underneath this, we have this cracked leather overlay, which is done in more of a muted green, and embroidered across in the center, we have this thick white stitching, and towards the heel, we have 3D grid branding. Underneath this, we have a very soft green colored nubuck, and then covering the heel of the shoe, we have more of that pebbled or textured brown leather, and we have this padded synthetic overlay in the middle, which has the same sort of look that you'd find on a tortoise shell styled sunglass. And then underneath this, we have the words maybe embroidered on the left foot and tomorrow embroidered on the right foot. As far as laces go, so these come with two different lace options. The standard default lace is a flat style lace in green, but they also give you a secondary flat style brown colored lace as well, if you want to give the shoe a little bit more contrast. Underneath this, the tongue is covered in that same green colored mesh that we saw on the toe box. But we have this tag on the top with Maybe Tomorrow and 3D Good Hurricane branding along with a silhouette of a tortoise and this tag actually glows in the dark as well which is a nice added bonus. So the back of the tongue is lined in this orange colored textile and the interior of the shoe is lined in more of a muted green colored textile. As far as the insoles go, so these come with a decently well padded foam insole and lined on top we have these custom graphics with Maybe Tomorrow and Saucony co-branding visible on the heel. So the upper of the shoe sits atop this full length EVA foam midsole which is primarily painted in this off-white color. Encased within the midsole but not visible to the eye, we have Saucony's grid technology which in simplest terms is sort of like a tennis racket which sits within the midsole and helps with shock absorption giving you that bounce back as it returns that energy forward. Finally, turning this pair over to the bottom, so the outsole here is partially constructed out of the semi-translucent gum colored rubber. We have this triangular shaped traction pattern on the forefoot and you can see this sort of orange abstract pattern underneath. And in the middle, we have the Saucony logo, which is on the EVA foam layer itself. And then moving downwards, we have the Saucony word mark, along with this egg-shaped cutout, which is where the grid technology sits. And printed underneath, we have what looks like the underbelly of a tortoise. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And for those wondering about sizing, to me, the 3D Good Hurricane fits me pretty true to size, so that's what I would recommend. So my feet measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I got these in a size 10, whereas in contrast, I went up to a 10.5 for the Shadow 6000. 
So this pair going true to size fits me great. So unless you have like really, really, really wide feet, then I feel like the majority of people out there will be fine just sticking with your regular size. Moving on to the comfort, so the 3D Grid Hurricane is an okay shoe from a comfort standpoint. It's not anything super special, but it's not uncomfortable either. And while the forefoot gives you a little bit of softness and squishiness, on the heel it feels a bit more supported and structured. So working together, it's a decently comfortable shoe for everyday casual use. And I do have to add that this silhouette is actually a lot more lightweight than it looks, which is a nice added bonus as well. Finally, in terms of the quality and craftsmanship on this pair, so first off, material quality, I thought it was really solid. With such a wide variety of materials utilized on this shoe, I was pleased to see that all the different materials used felt pretty good quality to the touch. The suede and the nubucks had a nice soft buttery feel to it, and this textured leather that they use on the toe box and the heel, you can see some of that leather grain from the sides, so it wasn't completely synthetic, which was nice. And from a build and craftsmanship standpoint, while it wasn't perfect, overall it was pretty solid. There was some slight staining on the midsole area, but the overall stitch job was good, the panels were cut consistently, so there wasn't any real red flags on this pair that I could see. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet, I'll lace them up and I'll show you guys how these look. Between this one and the Hair Shadow 6000s, I think they really had a lot more to work with with the 3D Grid Hurricane to begin with. This is obviously much more of a complex and busy looking sneaker compared to the Shadow 6000, which allowed them to really utilize their creativity and make this look much more like a tortoise compared to the Hair colorway. This one, while the theming is really, really top notch, I just think it's a bit tougher of a shoe to pull off. So if I was to keep these in my collection, I don't know how often I'd actually add these to my rotation. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this 3D Grid Hurricane in this tortoise colorway. What are your overall thoughts on the execution and the design of this pair? And between this one and the hairs, which of the two did you guys prefer? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check out my Twitter account at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.